Should you buy Luokong Technology Corp stock? Luokong closed the session of the 18th of March 2021 at $1.85. <coughs> it has a market cap of $588 million, 317.847 million shares outstanding. We have to give credit to Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab is the provider of this platform we're using so by far they are the best the most um, they have the most diverse of tools for your research so moving on we have to go on and uh, have a look and see what goes what goes what's going on here um, we can see that there's the news that it acquires um, or has acquired emap go and acquired this company, this EMAP go completely. It's now um, an, a wholly owned entity. So Luo Kong Technology has acquired EMAP go. You can see that that's the piece of news there. But there's also another piece of news. This piece of news has been around since the 11th of March. It says, um, Luo Kong uh, Technology says NASDAQ withdraws the, the listing notice. So this is also important trading to continue until uh, May 8th. It says Luo Kong Technology Corp said Thursday that he has received a letter from U.S. Depart Department of Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control confirming that any trading restrictions on the company in its in the U.S. wouldn't take effect until May 8. Until we, I mean, with divestments permitted through March 9, 2022, the agency also confirmed that the U.S. De the Defense Department's listing of Luo Kong as a communist Chinese military company or CCMC was effective March 9th. The, des the, the designation would restrict any American from doing business with the company. The Defense Department has placed Lu Kong on the CMC list in January but had misspelled, mis misspelled the company's name. That listing is no longer effective according to the statements. In connection with this, NASDAQ notified the company that it has withdrawn its decision to suspend trading in Lu Kong's ordinary shares effective March 15th. The market index will issue a new delisting de determination effective March 8th on, unless there are new changes to Lu Kong's blacklist status. So going down, we can see easily that it, uh, its unbalanced volume indicator it seems to be improving, but we're not very sure. My D histogram is also not rising, but this is these are all that happened um, over the last 10 trading sessions because this we're, what we're looking at right now is a daily chart going down we can see that momentum is also improving based on this 14 period stochastic oscillator we can also see that the MACD seems to be uh, rising or probably above the histogram um, um, signal line and it says Lu Kong or LKCO appears to be in a strong bullish trend it's 200 day moving average is upward sloping and the MACD histogram is above zero and rising Comparative relative strength analysis shows it's outperforming the S&P 500. And we can also go ahead and see that momentum for LKCO strongly bullish. The 14 period slow stochastic oscillator is rising as investors pay high prices for shares. We can see that. You can see that. And then you can see the volume. The unbalanced volume indicator shows that longer term accumulation has given way to near term setting treasure by, by traders. <clears throat> and it's also a volatile stock. Uh, you can see, it says um, Bollinger bands are presently wider than wild, wider than usual as a result of greater than normal volatility that accompanied the recent price move. Events such as this may precede a pause or reversal in near term trend. So, okay, let's now have a look at the. Uh, sorry about that. Let's have a look at this. Is what's going on in the extended hours? It was up seven point seven seven point five seven percent, but. I can't exactly tell you that this is what's going on right now. So in the pre-market, it's currently up to 1.99. So this is what's going on in the pre-market. So um, it has helped, it has sustained that gain of 7.57% from the pre-market. It's still holding it on in this uh, pre-market session. So momentum is also still strong and sustained, uh, but easily I would say 
if you really want to get involved with this stock, you just have to digest all that we have just said about uh, its issue, political issues and all that stuff, you know. So, but technically, technically, um, it's been a bit volatile as well. The volume um, is what does it even say again? The, the unbalance, the volume, I, I, I believe, is very strong. The momentum is uh, very strong as well. Um, so technically, it's it's the sort of stock. Um, um, uh, or rather it spots the sort of uh, characteristics certain market uh, analysts would say this is, is really bullish but uh, at the same time it has run up so many uh, days of gains um, it's really hot right now so if you want to disregard that and we'll jump into the stock because of the fundamentals you know you can do so but at the same time you also have to balance the political issues surrounding the stock so technically I would say just hold on you know um, I would just hold. I would just say so. Just hold on. But at the same time, I I, I can also say as well. Um, if you have to go in, um, just do just do so because it's still trading. It's still trading at uh, penny levels. Uh, but outside that, it's just too hot. Uh, you know, I'm not very 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 confident in saying that you should just go in. Okay. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe, like, and share. If you're really a subscriber, thank you very much for watching this video.